But Harp's startling potential doesn't end there. Some say it's linked to a strange phenomena occurring in our skies. In recent years, peculiar cloud formations have been appearing in the skies all over the world with increasing frequency. I think most of us in North America have wondered at these plumes crisscrossing the sky in grid patterns, parallel rows, and the, the now familiar X's. And many of us have wondered what these trails are. While highly speculative, some researchers suggest these strange cloud formations are another agent of weather warfare. They first appear to be simply contrails, coming from high-flying jet airplanes. But these trails linger in the sky for many hours, some for even an entire day, forming an artificial cloud. Some researchers refer to them as chemtrails. Chemtrails are deliberately sprayed by high-flying U.S. Air Force tankers dispersing chemicals into the atmosphere. Will Thomas has authored a book about chemtrails. Since the late 1990s, he has worked closely with another journalist in investigating these strange patterns that appear in the sky. We have an FAA representative, in fact, a high government official, a person we came to call Deep Sky, attesting to the truth and the reality behind chemtrails. He described this program of spraying chemical trails at high altitudes in so-called commanded airspace. The theory is that chemtrails are being used in conjunction with HARP by spraying metal oxides into the air above enemy skies, then directing ELF waves from HARP to heat those metal oxides. The temperature of the sky is raised to more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit preventing the accumulation of water vapor that would otherwise form clouds and produce rainfall. 